in the world of classic Hollywood movies, there's one particular film that stands out for its gripping portrayal of Navy pilots during the Korean War. Starring some of the biggest names of its time, this movie follows the struggles and sacrifices of those involved in a perilous mission. As you dive into this film, you'll encounter a cast of iconic actors delivering memorable performances. From the lead character facing the harsh realities of war to the supporting roles that add depth and emotion, each actor brings something special to the screen. Did you know that certain scenes were actually shot on location in Japan? This adds an authentic touch to the movie, bringing viewers closer to the setting and the story's historical context. Beyond the well-known facts, there are lesser-known tidbits that add layers of fascination to this cinematic experience. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes to surprising trivia, there's always something new to discover about this beloved film. As you watch, you may find yourself laughing at funny moments, gasping at shocking twists, and feeling the weight of the character's struggles. It's these emotional highs and lows that make this movie truly memorable. Reflecting on personal experiences, many viewers hold fond memories of watching this film with loved ones or experiencing its impact on their own lives. Whether it's a shared movie night or a solitary viewing that leaves a lasting impression, the bridges at Toko Rai holds a special place in the hearts of many. So, whether you're a longtime fan or discovering this classic for the first time, there's always something new to appreciate and enjoy about this timeless piece of cinema. The narrative unfolds as a poignant tale of war, divided into three distinct sections, land, sea, and air. Commencing with a gripping incident at sea, the film immerses viewers into the harrowing experiences of its characters. Our protagonist, portrayed by William Holden, faces perilous situations, including a crash landing and subsequent confrontation with North Korean infantry. Alongside him, his comrades Rooney and Holloman navigate the treacherous landscapes of conflict and camaraderie. Throughout the film, tension mounts as the characters confront the grim realities of combat. Holden's portrayal of a reluctant warrior resonates deeply, particularly during the pivotal attack on the bridges at Tokorai, where survival seems improbable. As the story unfolds, viewers are drawn into a world where personal sacrifices intersect with larger geopolitical struggles. The film's anti-war sentiment is underscored by its portrayal of the futility of conflict and the profound sacrifices made by those in its midst. Despite the occasional cliché dialogue and comedic interludes, the film remains anchored in its portrayal of the human cost of war. The aerial sequences, characterized by stunning photography and meticulous model work, offer a visceral depiction of the era's military aviation. In its portrayal of the complexities of war and the resilience of the human spirit, the bridges at Toko Rai stands as a compelling testament to the courage and sacrifice of those who serve. As the credits roll, viewers are left to ponder the film's central question, where do we get such men? A classic movie known for showing the real cost of war is The Bridges at Toko Rai. It features a bunch of famous actors from Hollywood. One of them is Grace Kelly, who was part of the Democratic Party. She had a great career and was close to Franklin D. Roosevelt's administration, which added depth to her role in the film. Another famous actor in the movie is Mickey Rooney, who has four stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his work in movies and TV. Earl Holloman, who's also in the movie, is known for his great acting skills. There was a rumor that he would be in a Christmas special, but sadly it never happened, which left fans disappointed. The Bridges at Toko Rai is still loved by audiences for its powerful story and great acting. It reminds us how war affects people. It's a sign of the talent and hard work of everyone involved in making it. In a notable scene from a later film, a character mentions his service with VF-51, connecting back to his earlier experiences in the bridges at Toko Rai. Frederick March, one of the actors in the film, achieves significant recognition, winning two Tony Awards for his performances in theater. William Holden, another actor in the movie, landed a role in The Wild Bunch after it had been turned down by several other notable actors. Marvin, who almost took the role, withdrew after being offered a better deal for a different project. Earl Holloman, born the seventh of ten children, was adopted at birth by Henry and Velma Holloman. Despite being put up for adoption, he reconnected with his biological family later in life. After his adopted father's passing when he was 13, he worked alongside his mother waiting tables and also in the oil fields to make ends meet. Holloman was considered for the role of Mr. Parker in A Christmas Story, which eventually went to Darren McGavin. 
William Holden starred alongside Gloria Swanson in Sunset BLBD and Judy Holliday in Born Yesterday. Both actresses were nominated for Best Actress Oscars for their performances, with Holiday winning. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, Mickey Rooney performed a nightclub comedy act alongside comic Joey Foreman. Dennis Weaver, father of actor Robert Weaver, actor producer director Rick Weaver, and Rusty Weaver contributed to the film. Frederick March, known for his roles in various adaptations, including a television version of A Christmas Carol, worked alongside Bezel Rathbone in two adaptations of the tale. In the first, March portrayed Scrooge, while Rathbone took on the role of Marley's ghost. In the second adaptation, March served as the narrator, while Rathbone portrayed Scrooge. Following the 1954 movie The Bridges at Toko Rai, interesting facts about some of its cast members have emerged. For instance, Dennis Weaver, who played a role in the film, showcased his athleticism before his acting career took off. Placing sixth in the 1948 Olympic trials in the decathlon, Weaver's skill was notable, with Bob Mathias securing the first position. Earl Holloman, another actor in the film, had an intriguing incident in his career. In 1970, he filmed a television movie for 20th Century Fox titled The Legend of Joaquin Marietta, but unfortunately it was never released and has since been lost. Holloman's beginnings in the film industry were modest yet memorable. During the 1950s, he always received top billing when his films were shown in his hometown of Oil City, Louisiana, and the Strand Theater in Shreveport, regardless of the size of his role. These anecdotes shed light on the diverse backgrounds and experiences of the actors involved in the bridges at Toko Rai, adding depth to their performances on screen. In 1993, both the United States and Monaco made postage stamps to honor Grace Kelly. The U.S. stamp showed her as Grace Kelly, while the Monaco stamp called her Princess Grace. Earl Holloman was also recognized by artists in 2010. One was British and the other was American. They drew funny pictures of him on the Star Portraits website. These gestures show how people still remember and respect these famous figures from the movies. Earl Holloman, recognized for his roles in various films, received a caricature tribute on April 21, 2018 by American graphic artist Peter Pitcher via his profile on the website DeviantArt, honoring him as the sketch of the day. William Holden, whose passing was reported in the New York Post on November 18, 1981, was referenced in the song Tom's Diner by Suzanne Vega. The lyrics depict an actor who died while drinking, capturing Holden's demise. However, Vega later expressed embarrassment over these lyrics. Frederick March, remembered fondly by his daughter Penny, was described as fun, charming, and kind. She reminisced about his elegance, recalling how he dressed impeccably for evening outings, donning tails, an evening cape, and a top hat. 